Hi Taurus, this is Aqua Goddess coming to give you guys your part two reading. Please keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, if you would like to donate to the channel, purchase any artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of that information will be in our description box below. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for being here. Join the family. I would love to have you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to be notified for your future readings. If you are returning, welcome back, family. Thank you so much for your love and support. I've already prayed and meditated over your energy, so let's just go ahead and tap right in. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides most high, please protect me and my collective as I channel messages for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Please return all negative energy back to sender, 20 million fold. And anyone out there showing me love, much love and light to you. Also, guys, if you're interested in purchasing any uh, manifestation jewelry, artwork, personal readings, that information will be down below in our description box. So, Taurus, definitely what I notice is that you're dealing with somebody who will cut you off at any given time. This person is just about stubborn as it comes. And I'm seeing that this person is energetically not letting you go. So uh, you could definitely find yourself having dreams about this person. I see them definitely doing some sex magic around you. Um, you know, and I see a confession coming in. This person is about to contact you and have that conversation with you that they should have already had, right? Yeah. A lot of you guys are going to be receiving a message soon from this person, an apology. You were in a getting to know each other stage with this person, finding out if you were compatible with them or not. And they gave you false hope, you know? This is someone that you thought that you would have a long-term commitment with. But it's like they cut you off at any given moment. Very emotionally immature. You spoke to this person about your feelings, things that you were concerned about. And it's like a disconnect there. They don't know how to treat you even though you're giving them a manual on what you like and what you don't like. What you tolerate and what you don't tolerate. I definitely see a strong sexual connection. You know, but I also see major choices here. So, Spirit, tell me why this person cut you, cut Taurus off. Or why is this person not talking to Taurus? Why is this person so distant with Taurus? Some of you guys are dealing with the Aries Leo Sag. This is standing out for me. And I see that this is someone that you may have had a sneaky link with, but no more. You're not dealing with this person. Hmm. They don't know how to treat you. There's a lack of presence. They may not reach out. You know, they could not call. But it's like they still desire you. So you feel like this person play too much. For some of you, this person could be a card reader or just somebody very intuitive or this is you. What does this person want from my Tauruses? They definitely don't want you talking to anyone else. They're kind of concerned that you might be talking to someone online. Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, you name it. This person doesn't want you to meet anyone new. They just want to keep taking you through the same goofy ass cycles over and over again. But I see you got a wake up call with this person. May have broke it off. Started aiming for positive changes in your life. Realized that this connection wasn't working. And I see this person overindulging on drugs and alcohol. You know, smoking, drinking a lot. Stressed out. Can't get over the fact that they got exposed. Found out about you're no longer playing with this person. You guys are no longer going out together. But they're yearning for you. This person was in a third party situation that I see they left behind. And now they're wanting to allow you access to them. 
See, at some point, they were a closed book. This person could be a homebody. They may like to cook, like massages, or this is something that's associated with the connection that you have with them. Okay. Tell me how this person is currently feeling when it comes to Taurus. What is this incoming message going to be about, Spirit? Being closed off. Um, this person definitely doesn't want to be closed off anymore. They had a choice between two people. And they could have chose the other person. That was a mistake on their part because this other person was uh, hiding some things from them. Yeah, very jealous, manipulative, and demanding energy, but hiding some things. Yeah. What is the outcome of this situation with Taurus and this person's spirit? Definitely nothing moving forward in this connection. So if you do entertain this connection again, it'll be a gaslight situation where this person will cut you off again. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo energy, or it could be a Gemini. But I see Ace of Cups reverse. So you guys are waiting for new love. I see you may be meeting someone or connecting with someone that is in the spotlight or this is the past person that you were connecting with. I'm seeing that this person is being in their ego and they sabotage the connection with you by holding back. Yeah. By not shutting, like, yeah, they had a whole nother situation. This person has lost their spiritual protection. Yeah. And I see a lot of you guys, you may have opened up your own business or just be very financial stable, financially stable. I see you creating a lot of happiness and financial freedom in your life. This person is spying on you. They watch you. They're stuck in the past. Even though they're not wanting to like, put in the work that they need to put in in this connection. What is this person's intentions when it comes to Taurus? I see them still being toxic and not offering you the offer that you really want. Yeah, you got the death reverse. Resist and change. See, this person is all about... They could have done things to trigger you or annoy you. You see how this devil is lighting a fire to this this person's tail right this is about being remaining in control yeah this person doesn't plan on changing at all yeah very unreliable energy and it causes a lot of confusion so i would definitely recommend you to put, keep it pushing but that's just my recommendation What are, this, what are this person's thoughts when it comes to Taurus spirit? What are this person's thoughts when it comes to Taurus? They want you to let your guard down. And they want to have sex with you. Hmm. They want you to let the past go. But it's like this person, when you look at this person, you just be like, okay, it makes you do your, your shadow work even more. Because you're like, okay, this person has really put me in a stupid situation. I got to work on my shadow work. And I see you definitely putting in that work on yourself. This person can't stop obsessing over you, though, for sure, for sure. They're going to reach out to you. It could be a Leo, or you may be reaching out to this person. They absolutely cannot get out their head when it comes to you.
This person may have felt like you were too busy and you didn't have time for them or didn't make time for them. Or this is the way that you felt about them. I see you focusing on yourself, knowing that you can't be replaced. This person knows you can't be replaced either. And this is why they so much in this Eight of Swords energy with you. Yeah, you can't be replaced. He's bringing the freak out of me. So this person may have felt like, or this is you. I feel like the feminine energy felt like, like, dang, like, you know, you may have felt like this person really brought a freaky side out of you that you wish you would have never expressed with them. They feel like you're out of their league, like you too smart, you got a lot going on, you're elevate. I'm sorry, you're elevating, uh, you're elegant, and you're very sophisticated. So they already felt like you were out of their league, but they invited you out to dinner or something and started this bomb connection with you, right? Even though going in this connection, they knew that you were out of their league. But they do like the fact that you embrace who you are. So they wanted to take a shot at it. They love this about you. But it's like they knew that you weren't the person for them because they weren't ready for a person like you, if that makes sense. They knew that they had to do more shadow work dealing with you. But it's like, yeah, see, it says he has some growing and healing to do. Yeah, this person knew that they had some growing and healing to do. But it's like they they were selfish in this situation, knowing that they couldn't really offer you what you deserve. And I'm hearing that for a lot of you, per, a lot of you, this person is very intuitive as well. So they already knew when they met you that they really couldn't offer you anything. But of course, they definitely wanted to still smash, you know, still hang out and build this bond that they knew they couldn't live up to. Yeah, confused energy, I'm trying to tell you. So this person's wanting to figure out how to fix things with you. They no longer want to be catfished, that's for sure. Because a lot of you guys already know what's going on, so this person look and feel stupid. But for a lot of you, this person's broke right now. They could dress real nice, though. They may wear very expensive clothes, but they don't have any money. Yeah. I see you not wanting to deal with the drama anymore. You could be connecting with the water sign. But this person feels like there's unfinished business. So they definitely are going to send you a text message. Because they don't want you to let them go. I see you wanting to start over though. Like you don't want to be alone. But you're definitely not wanting to be with anyone that makes you feel ignored. Or like you're not worth the sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. So I see you pushing forward. Uh, I see you pushing forward very strongly here, Taurus. And paying very close attention to the signs and synchronicities. Make sure you guys are looking up your angel numbers. There's peace coming in your future. Trust your intuition. Spirit is telling you for sure that this person is going to reach out to you. But it's like they still have a cold heart. You have frozen hearts here. So I would not trust this offer at all, guys. But use your discernment. Everybody's situation different. You know, maybe this person will eventually change, but they're not ready right now. All right. So those are the messages that I have for you today, my beautiful and my handsome tourists. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonates with your story, please be sure to like and subscribe. Also, guys, if you're interested in the manifestation jewelry, artwork, personal readings, check the description box below and I will talk to you soon. Much love and light. Peace.